Welcome to this getting started video on AWS IoT Device Defender ML Detect feature. I am Ryan D'Souza and I'm an AWS IoT Solution Architect. With ML Detect, AWS brings machine learning to IoT security and uses machine learning to learn normal device behavior and detect device anomalies. ML Detect is an enhancement over rule-based anomaly detection and uses machine learning to learn normal device behavior and detect device anomalies. Use rule-based security profile when you know the normal device behavior ahead of time. But in many cases, you may not know the normal device behavior or your device behavior may change dynamically over time. In that case, we recommend using the ML-based security profile. In the demo today, we will first set up a security profile using ML Detect. We will receive alarms when there are anomalies. We will investigate alarms and finally take mitigation actions to fix the issues. In order to follow along with me in the demo today, you will need an AWS account. You will need some devices connected and sending messages to AWS IoT Core. If you want to receive notifications, you will need an SNS topic and role. So let's go ahead and set up AWS IoT Device Defender ML Detect. I'm in the AWS IoT console and you can find Device Defender on the left-hand side uh, right here. So I go to Security Profiles and in Security Profiles, I create a new security profile. You can see here that you can either create a rule-based security profile or an ML Anomaly Detect security profile. I'm gonna set up an ML Anomaly Detect security profile. So the first thing I do is to select a target group of devices. Uh, so I can either select all things in my account, I can select uh, unregistered things, I can sele select registered things, or I can select a specific group which has my devices in it. Uh, in my case, I'm gonna select uh, all things. I then need to give the security profile name I can give a description. And next is I need to select uh, the metrics that I want to add to my security profile. So you can see here that, uh, the, that there exist uh, six cloud side metrics. I'm going to add the device side metrics. So there you have it. I have uh, six cloud side metrics and seven device side metrics that have been added to my security profile. I then go ahead and set up notifications. So it is optional, but in my case, I, I want to set up an SNS notification. Uh, for an SNS notification, you need to select a topic. So I have pre-configured a topic and I need to select a role. I then come to this screen where I can edit metric behavior. So I can select and configure the number of data points required to trigger an alarm. Uh, in my case, it is one. I can also select the data points required to clear an alarm, and I'm gonna select three. I can then select notifications. So in my case, I want notifications, so I'm gonna say not suppressed. And I can then select and configure an ML detect confidence level. High confidence means low sensitivity in anomalous behavior and a lower number of alarms. Medium means medium sensitivity to alarms and low confidence means high sensitivity, sensitivity to alarms and a higher number of alarms. So I'm gonna select high confidence level here. Number of data points required to clear the alarm is three. Not suppressed, in this case, I'm gonna select medium confidence level. I'm going to uh, leave the rest as default. And I select next. And finally, create my ML security profile. Uh, so there you have it. I just created an ML-based security profile called my ML security profile uh, with uh, the six cloud side metrics and seven device side metrics. So now let's take a look at the My ML Security Profile. 
and if I go to behavior and ML training, you can see here that the model status is pending build. And this is because the model has not received the amount of data it needs in order to set up the ML model. So the initial model training period is 14 days and 25,000 data points before it is ready to perform any evaluations. And afterwards, it updates the model every day, provided there is a minimum number of metric data points collected. So let's go ahead and take a, uh, take a look at another security profile that I had created earlier. So we'll take a look at ML anomaly detect security profile and behavior and ML training. And as you can see here that uh, this security profile, uh, the model is ready to perform evaluations. So now let's go ahead and take a look at alarms. Let's go ahead and take a look at alarm history. And we can see alarm history over the last 24 hours. We can also see it over the last seven days as an example. And we can also select the security profiles. I'm gonna select the one that we're using, which is the ML anomaly detect security profile. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these alarms. We can see that some of the alarms have been cleared. Um, this is when the alarm was actually triggered. <clears throat> Uh, some alarms have been invalidated. Uh, we can also see uh, DDML uh, 7 shown over here. And in this case, the alarm was uh, triggered because of a large number of packets out. Uh, so let's go ahead and conduct the investigation on DDML 7. So this uh, takes me to the DDML 7 uh, device uh, uh, page and I can see Defender uh, metrics. Uh, and I can see over here uh, the different metric types. So we set up six cloud side metrics and seven device side metrics. So for example, we can take a look at message size. And as you can see here, uh, the device is showing some an anomalies in terms of the message size. Uh, we can also take a look at uh, uh, device side metrics. So packets out, we can also see that there is some anomalies if we can zoom in over here. And we can see that the normal packets out is below 400. Uh, but in this case over here, it is gone to above 1000. Uh, so this is another anomaly which device defender ML detect was able to detect. So after conducting this security investigation on one of these devices, DDML7, which shows a large number of packets out, uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a mitigation action. In our case, we're gonna set up a mitigation action in order to isolate this device and, and put it into a group called quarantine group. So I will create a new mitigation action. I give it a name. I need to select the action type. In my case, I want to isolate the device and uh, send it to a group called quarantine group. So I say add thing to thing group. I then need to select a role. I select the group. So in my case, it is quarantine group, uh, a group that I created earlier. And I save. And uh, uh, there you have it. I just created a new mitigation action called my mitigation action. Uh, so let's go ahead and take that action. So I look for DDML7 and I start mitigation action. The action is the action that I just created called my mitigation action, and I start. So there you have it. I showed you how easy it is to set up AWS IoT Device Defender to monitor device anomalies using device side metrics and cloud side metrics. We conducted a security investigation on one of the devices and took a mitigation action to isolate the device into a quarantine group. To get started and to learn more, please visit the AWS IoT Device Defender homepage as well as the AWS IoT Device Defender documentation. Thank you.